Hey guys, so today we're making some oatmeal raisin cookies. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. So today we're going to do a Quaker Oats oatmeal raisin cookies recipe. And this is just a recipe that was on the, the lid of my oatmeal container. So I'm going in with some butter, some white sugar, some brown sugar, and then you're going to mix that until it creams together. And then after that, I am going to add in some vanilla extract and uh, two eggs. And so I'll be sure to list all of the measurements in the description box below. Um, but these cookies are really good. Like, you know, those random recipes that just be on the back of like flour or like on uh, baking uh, items. I'm just going to start making those recipes just to see how it tastes. And so now I am adding some baking soda to some all-purpose flour and you're going to mix that together and then you're going to add it to your wet ingredients and mix it until it is combined. Kind of like this. Next I'm going to add in the oatmeal. Do not cook the oatmeal first y'all. So that is some oatmeal some raisins and then I'm adding in some cinnamon chips so this wasn't in the recipe it just called for like a teaspoon of cinnamon but I saw this at the store and thought I would add it and those added great cinnamon flavor to the oatmeal raisin cookies it's a really nice fall cookie actually and so you're just gonna mix this together until it is combined and it is a struggle y'all cuz that oatmeal is so thick so the batter will be thick don't don't think you're doing anything wrong it, it's just it's so much oatmeal that it became super thick, but keep mixing until everything is combined. Now I'm just using my cookie scoop to uh, put my dough on a baking sheet. And then I am going to top it with some extra raisins just so people know what kind of cookie it is in case raisins didn't get in that little ball that you made. And you're going to bake these in the oven on 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 8 to 10 minutes. And then you are going to let it cool on a cooling rack. And then that's it guys. This is the finished product. I hope you like the video. Bye. Bye. 